Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you the new N plus one betas as well as two new beta surfaces from ACD Unlimited. Welcome back. So let's have a look at these awesome new betas as well as the two new surfaces. The M plus one beta is obviously a bigger brother to the dynamic beta, but the dynamic betas are still available and they're not being replaced because they are a slightly different animal. The N plus one beta, just like the dynamic beta, is very, very lightweight and very, very strong. Now also like the dynamic beta, it has removable beta surfaces. These are fantastic because not only can we change the feel of our beta by putting either lightweight or heavyweight versions of the discs on, but we can also change the tone. Now the four beta surfaces that we have available for the N plus one betas and the dynamic betas are felt, which is a more modern kind of firm felt. It's a great all round well-balanced tone. Wood, which has a flat profile. So this gives us a huge amount of punch. It's great when we want that big aggressive kind of bass drum sound. Plastic, this has a more rounded profile than the wooden version. So although it doesn't have the same amount of punch to the tone, it has a little bit more slap. And Mr. Muff, this is great when we want that real vintage jazzy sound, anything where you want that bass drum to be felt but not heard. Now the felt, wood and plastic options are available in lightweight versions. These have an aluminium backing with weight relief. We also have a heavyweight version of these three, which have a stainless steel backing. The Mr. Muff version is only available in the lightweight. Now that's because it's a 50 millimeter disc, so it's already a little bit bigger, but also when you're playing with that kind of vintage, furry, woolly sort of sound, you're looking for a very light touch. You don't want a big, heavy, weighty beater. If you did want more weight, these beaters also have a removable weight, just like the dynamic beater. But unlike the dynamic beater, we don't need any tools to add or remove this weight anymore. With the dynamic beaters, you need an Allen key to remove a screw that holds the weight in place from underneath. With the M plus one beater, the weight sits behind the beater disc. Unscrew the beater surface, give the beater a knock from behind and the weight will pop right out. Or unscrew the surface, push the weight in and then put your next surface back on. Now this might seem simple, but it's such a good idea because we no longer have to choose between a great feeling beater that might sound so-so or a great sounding beater that might not feel all that nice. With the dynamic beater and the M plus one beater, we can dial it in for the perfect weight for our preferences and then choose the surface that suits the music best. So let's have a listen to how these surfaces sound. Now the M plus one beta also has a very special feature that the dynamic beta doesn't have. If you've checked out the Darwin pedals, then you know that it has an adjustable hoop clamp. That's so that we can push the bass drum pedal either closer to the bass drum or further away. And that's in order to make sure that the beta lands dead at 12 o'clock. If it lands beyond 12 o'clock or doesn't quite reach 12 o'clock, the pedal won't be working at its most efficient. Now you can buy an M plus one beta and you can adjust that same parameter in the head of the beta itself. You just loosen this screw in the top of the beta and you can now slide the whole head of the beta either closer to the bass drum head or further away. Now along the screw guide, you'll also see all of these notches. That's so that once you find the right placement for the beta head, you can tighten it down and it's gonna sit in that groove perfectly and not slip. So you don't have to worry that when you play it, the beta head is gonna push back or anything like that. Once you set it, it's stuck there. You can also adjust the angle of the beta head with the same screw. Now 
when you buy a Darwin pedal, you have the option to choose either the Dynamic Beta or the M Plus One Beta for no additional cost. And if you're looking at it as an aftermarket thing because you want to upgrade your existing pedal, you can choose either of these. When you do that, you can choose which beta surfaces that you want to have, or you can buy additional beta surfaces so that you have some more options and variety. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to check these betas out or any of the other fantastic products that ACD Unlimited make, I'm going to leave a link to the website in the description down below to make sure you check that out. If you found the video useful in any way, please like, consider subscribing so that you see when I upload again, and don't forget to hit the bell. And tell me in the comments below what betas you're using, or if there's any products that you would like to see ACD Unlimited develop, and I'll pass those comments on to Dennis.